Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Arsenal. In today's episode, we have the second leg of our Europa League tie against Galatasaray. And there's been a fixture change. We also have Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Following on from the League Cup final was Fulham in the FA Cup fifth round, which we obviously won 5-0. I mean, Gury getting himself a hat-trick, Reese Nelson with one and Socrates with the other. A pretty rotated side, but the boys definitely did well, uh, particularly impressed with Gury up top. We then went away from home against Southampton in the Premier League. Nicholas Pepe, Everton and an own goal completed the scoring for a comfortable 3-0 win. We then had the first leg against Galatasaray in the second knockout round of the Europa League. And we managed to win 2-1, but it could have been so much better. Alexander Lacazette had put us in front. Nicolas Pepe then missed a penalty. Then Ruben Diaz got us 2-0 up, 87 minutes in. But Radamel Falcao got a 92nd minute goal for Galatasaray to make the second leg interesting at the very least. And then this happened. <laughs> we're in the Premier League. We're at home. We've been so dominant at home. And then we're drawing 0-0 against Bournemouth. That's just dreadful. We didn't... We did create opportunities, we just didn't take them. Um, and that's dropped points in a very competitive Premier League. is not a good look against Bournemouth at home. So this is how the Premier League table looks. We do still sit top. We are one point clear from Manchester United and three points clear from Liverpool. And we have a game in hand on both of them. If we'd just beaten Bournemouth, <laughs> that could have been so much better. But nevertheless, it, we are still very much in control of our own destiny in terms of the Premier League. So we've got to be happy about that. In terms of the other legs of the Europa League, Lazio actually got beat off Roma at home, so it looks like Roma have the advantage there. In terms of the other big sides, uh, Porto and Wolves drew. Sporting beat Bo Borussia Dortmund at home, so that could be an interesting tie. Hopefully Sporting could do us a favour there. But um, the Europa League is definitely looking like something we could win come the end of the season. But we've got to get past Galatasaray today though, so let's get into the team selection and see how we're going to line up against Galatasaray. Bert Leno will, of course, start in goal. Hector Bellerin right back. Ruben Diaz, David Luiz and Kieran Tini completing the defence. Lucas Torreira in that defensive midfield role with Matteo Guendouzi playing in the centre on East Todd. Nicholas Pepe, Mesut Ozil, Everton and Lacazette complete our attack on four. Pretty standard uh, lineup. I think that's probably probably our best side at the minute. Thomas Partey um, might feel a little bit aggrieved. Matteo Guendouzi has uh, improved quite a lot over the past couple of months. So I need to start giving him more and more game time. And he's looking absolutely fantastic. Galatasaray though. Got a few uh, recognisable faces in there. With the likes of Falcao and Ryan Babel. He's still only 33. Feels like he should be about 46 at the very least. But no. He's playing for Galatasaray. Belhanda. Um, he used to be very, very good on football. Manager. I seem to remember playing in the French League. Uh, for Montpellier. It was quite a while ago now. 2012, 2013. Muslera, I always recognise him for some reason. I have no idea why. Who did he play for Lazio, maybe? Um, but anyway, we've got a far better side than Galatasaray do. We've got the 2-1 advantage. We're playing a full-strength side, pretty much. There's no reason why anything should go wrong. Well, I've just completely missed that goal because it was from the very first highlight of the game, which um, usually leads to nothing, so I didn't bother talking about it. <laughs> so here it is. Nicholas Pepe receives the ball from Everton on the right-hand side. The ball's played in. Everton heads it down for Ozil. First time strike on the volley. An absolutely fantastic goal. Ozil's eighth goal of the season. Well, 1-0 up already. Another highlight now. 26 minutes in. It's Galatasaray in possession in the middle of the park. And Falcao brings it down. Plays it back in. Zonzi, Marcao. Long ball over the top. Loads of space for Nagatomo on this left-hand side. Passes it back to Lamina. And, um, yeah, Mario Lamina. Gets his eighth goal of the season and brings Galatasaray well back into this tie. It's only 3-2 on aggregate now. They have their away goal. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. We've, we've been performing so well. Um, Europa League is definitely one of the competitions I want to win. Obviously, I want to win every competition, but uh, the Europa League is something that is of particular interest. I think we've got probably the easiest route to the final if we end up getting there that we're ever going to get in a European competition so let's not mess this up boys and that's it for half time Arsenal won Galatasaray won uh, we didn't dominate that first off by any means uh, Galatasaray definitely coming back into it more and more we'll see how the second half goes 50 minutes in is going to be the first highlight of the second half Ozil with the corner it's played in it's cleared <laughs> and we'll get another fantastic highlight spot interactive 
Torreira plays it on the left hand, left hand side to Everton. He drives in. I've seen them highlights far too much. I know he's going to shoot wide. 30 minutes to go in the match. If Galatasaray ought to score here and things are to stay the same. We'll go on extra time, lads. Extra time. I thought we had this game wrapped up and sewed up after the first leg, but it doesn't seem to be as Hector Bellerin drives into the box, goes for... I mean, why? You haven't got a left foot to begin with, Bellerin. So, with 20 minutes to go, we are going to make some changes. Lacazette's going to come off for Guri up top. Um, Thomas Partey is going to come on for Matteo Guendouzi as well, and we're going to... Sw no, we're not going to switch him. Lucas Torreira does seem to play better in that defensive midfield role, playing in the deep lie and playmaker. Um, 18 minutes to go. There is another highlight. It's Galatasaray on the attack this time. Belhanda loads of space on the left-hand side for Nagatomo once again. Nicholas Pepe is just not bothered. He's like, I'm, I'm done, boys. I'm not fucking running back for this. Mesut Ozil now brings it down beautifully. Finds Nicholas Pepe, whose strike is absolutely awful. 10 minutes to go. We'll make our final sub before this highlight uh, continues. It'll be Kieran Tini who comes off for Kalasnach at left-back. And with 10 minutes to go, things are very, very edgy. David Louise with a beautiful long ball over the top to Everton on the left-hand side. The ball's played in. Nicholas Pepe goes close once again. But we're not breaking Galatasaray down at all. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like they're going for it that much either. They're still only on a positive. Now they're very attacking. Let's see if that actually results in anything for them. Last couple of minutes, it doesn't. Arsenal won, Galatasaray won. An absolutely dreadful result for us, really. But it does see us safely through to the next round of the Europa League. In terms of the other sides, then, Borussia Dortmund did manage to overcome their deficit in the second leg. So they are through alongside PSV, Feyenoord, Olympiacos, Roma, Braga and Porto. So you would imagine Porto, Roma, um, and then Dortmund, the biggest sides still left in the competition alongside ourselves. The other sides that we hope we are avoided, and we do, we get Olympiacos. Both draws have already been done. I'm not even sure um, who we get in the semis should we win this. So in the semis, we will face, if we beat Olympiacos, we will face the winner of Porto and Roma. So we'll be facing one of the bigger sides, but we've managed to avoid Dortmund, which is always a nice thing to see. So we do have Liverpool at home next in the FA Cup. Our board does expect us to reach the semi-final. This is, is this the sixth round? I think it is. Or is it the quarters? Um, so it is the FA Cup quarter final. Um, so we'll have to get past Liverpool now to match our board expectations. The way we played against them in the league at home does give me a little bit of confidence. As you can, if you can't remember, we beat them three nil. Um, so we'll we'll get to this game and hopefully, hopefully, we can do the business again. So we're here for the Liverpool game. We have had to rotate slightly due to the lack of match conditioning and some of our boys. Of course, it's only been a few days since the last game. So, Bernd Leno will start in goal still. Malqui comes in for Bellerin. Socrates comes in for Ruben Diaz. Uh, David Luiz and Kalasanach, who comes in for Tierney, complete the defence. Thomas Partey and Gwenduzi start in the centre. Reese Nelson comes in for Nicholas Pepe. Uh, Mesut Ozil, Evan and Lacazette complete the starting eleven. Liverpool playing the exact same team as the last time we played them, except Andy Robertson returns to the starting eleven for Alex Grimaldo. So, he must have been injured when we faced them last time um again one of the best sides in the league they they've dropped quite a bit since the last time we met they've uh, certainly not performing as they were at the start of, like the january transfer period when it looked like they were unbeatable and they were going to run away with the league and every time we slept up they were kept on winning which wasn't exactly great but ever since we beat them in the league they have sort of tailed off and manchester united have emerged as our closest contenders for the title but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy today. We need to win to get to the semi-finals to meet the board expectations. We've already won the League Cup. I would love to win the FA Cup as well. Let's see how the rest of this game goes. 16 minutes in the first highlight. Lacazette is played through beautifully by Everton. He was one-on-one -on -one with Alisson, but he couldn't beat him. A great save by Alisson. Results in our corner. The corner wasn't very good. 30 minutes in now, Liverpool this time in possession on the attack with Fabinho, a lovely little ball, Andy Robertson on this left hand side, can we get the challenge in, we can't, but Bernd Leno stops the cross. It's Liverpool once again though, coming on the attack with Trent on this right hand side, plays into Henderson, Kolasinac intercepts, but we can't retain the possession, and Liverpool are pretty tenacious right now, Alexander Arnold gets a ball in, Firmino's there, back to Wijnaldum. And Jorginho Wijnaldum gets his third goal of the season and puts Liverpool 1-0 up 32 minutes in. 
can't say it hasn't been deserved. They've had a good couple of opportunities during this highlight alone. And we could not control them, unfortunately. And it's a great little bit of play by Bobby Firmino to retain possession in the box under that much pressure. And we're 1-0 down. Corner, though, 40 minutes in. Ozil plays it in. Who was there? Was that Gwendouzi? Oh, don't, don't give it offside. Everton scores. Ah, oh, he's apparently offside. <laughs> and that's it for the first half. Arsenal 0, Liverpool 1. Uh, going by the match stats, it looks like we're having the better of the game, but... Liverpool have definitely created the better opportunities. So, kick off for the second half. We'll not panic just yet. That comes later. Reese Nelson with the free kick. Though Socrates is there. And Socrates gets us back level two minutes after half time. Reese Nelson with a great... We've been great from set pieces. I have no idea why. But we've actually made it work for us this season. As Nelson plays the ball into the back post. Socrates is there. Playing for the um, lack and conditioning Ruben Diaz. And he proves maybe he should be on the starting sheet. 1-1. Another highlight now, it's Liverpool in possession this time with Andy Robertson on the left-hand side. They're always able to find him on the left-hand side, but that was an absolutely dreadful strike. Gwen Doozy plays it inside to Thomas Partey. Malqui has got his part of space on the right-hand side and he goes for goal. If you're going to go for goal there, go to the back post. Don't hit it to the front post. The highlight is continuing though, so it suggests it's not over. It's Gwen Doozy pinches the ball from uh, Robertson and Lacazette in behind now. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, what a block that was. Joel Matip. Getting back there and stopping Lacazette from almost a certain goal. Ozil plays in the corner. And Alisson claims. With about 10 or so minutes to go, Gwendouzi is going to make way for Lucas Torreira. And him and Thomas Partey are going to switch positions. Everton is also going to come off for a male Smith row on that left-hand side. Just to freshen things up a little bit. Going into the final 13 minutes or so as Liverpool come forward this time with Trent Fabinho. Again, Andy Robertson in a pot of spades on the left-hand side. Just watch that runner, please. Nelson, watch the runner. Watch the runner. Watch the runner. <laughs> He's not watching the runner. I know it's not his job, and that's my fault. As Bobby Firmino gets his 16th goal of the season and puts Liverpool 2-1 up. You know, it's it's a problem I spotted pretty early on in the game. How much have I done about it? Absolutely nothing. Haven't asked Malqui to turn off an attack duty. Haven't asked Reese Nelson to drop back on defence. <sighs> it's my own damn fault. We'll go attacking. Very attacking for the last 10 minutes or so. Demand more from our boys. We'll look to make our final sub of the game. Um, who's it actually going to be? Nicholas Pepe is going to come on for Reese Nelson on that right-hand side. See if he can do anything special in the final few minutes. Come on, please. Here we go. Highlight. Four minutes to go. Only injury time. We should be highly pressed. And um, we've pushed our wing backs on as well. So we should have options on either wing. But... Liverpool are no mugs and they are controlling possession right now with Grimaldo who must have replaced Robertson on the left hand side. Fabinho goes for goal and it goes just wide. And with only injury time remaining we have a corner. Torreira plays it in. It's cleared only as far as David Luiz. Don't knock it back man. Malqui finds Torreira on the right hand side. Get the ball in. It's there. Like I said. Pepe. Oh, somebody. Somebody please. Please score. It's not going to be. That's going to be the end of that highlight. And time is just ticking away. We've we threw everything at Liverpool in the final 20 minutes or so, but they have managed to... Oh, is our season derailing? It might be derailing right now. Lacazette on a 6.1 is not ideal. Um, and we go out of the FA Cup in the quarterfinals. Our board will be disappointed with that. I'm disappointed with that. Um, especially after the League Cup win, I thought maybe we could have League Cup, FA Cup, Europa League, Premier League. I had visions straight away, but it wasn't a bait and Liverpool beat us and made their way into the FA Cup semi-final. At least the board understands it was a difficult draw. So the Premier League table has changed a little bit due to us not playing in the league this episode. We are now in second position, but we do have two games on uh, Manchester United who are two points ahead. We have two games on Liverpool as well who are level on points, but um, we still sit above them with the two games in hand, which is absolutely lovely. In terms of the next episode then, when are we coming back? I think we'll continue with our one cup game, one league game system we've had going for a little bit here. We'll play Olympiacos in the second leg of the Europa League quarter final away from home. And we'll also face Newcastle away from home, who currently sit bottom of the Premier League. And yeah, if they're not already relegated, they're pretty much done. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.